You can preview a new site before you publish. When you're ready, you can publish it only to your organization or to the world. In this section, we're going to learn how to preview your site, publish your site for the first time, change a site's URL, and unpublish your site. Let's get started. If you're viewing a site on a mobile device, the content automatically adjusts to fit the screen. You can preview how your site appears on different devices. To preview, click Preview here. To see how your site looks on different devices, choose an option, phone, tablet, or large screen. Click the Close to exit the preview. When you publish your site for the first time and add a site name to complete the site URL, you can only use letters, numbers, and dashes in the site name. The beginning of the URL includes your organization's domain and cannot be changed. Publish your site for the first time, click the Publish button here. Add a name to the end of the URL. Certain terms such as support and admin cannot be used. For this example, my site's name is Tour. Under Who can visit my site, choose who can see your site. Anyone inside your domain or part of your company or anyone on the web. Public. It's optional to include your site in search results. Check the Allow My Site to Appear in Search Result box. If you don't use this option, some search engines might still find your site. Click the Publish button and visit your site's URL to confirm that your site is published correctly. Once you've published your site, you can see the long URL in the address bar. It's always going to begin with sites.google.com then forward slash your primary domain name, forward slash the site name that you've given earlier. Here I'm just going to show what that URL looks like when we go to a sub page. This would be the link that we would give our users if we want them to arrive at this page. Sastex Servers offers free domain name forwarding as the new Google Sites doesn't offer mapping of your domain name to a Google Site yet. I hope that this feature will be coming in the future. Uh, for now you can use domain forwarding or CNAME forwarding with your DNS hosting with SASTEC servers that's already included with your domain. I'll show you how to do that in another video. Now based on your permissions you can share that URL to the people that you've intended. Here, I'm going to show you how to change who can see your published site. Next to the Publish button, click the down arrow and then select Publish Settings. Under Who can visit my site, choose who can see your site. Anyone inside your domain or anyone on the web. If you've made any changes, be sure to click Save. You can continue to edit your site after you publish it, however you must republish the site to see any new changes by clicking the publish button at the top right corner. You can change your site's URL anytime, however if you do, bookmarks to the old URL will no longer work. To change your site URL, click the down arrow next to the publish button and select publish settings. Then you can just change your URL. When you're done, click Save. And if you no longer want your site to be available online, you can unpublish it. You'll still be able to access and update your site content. You can also republish the site using the same URL or a different URL at any time. If people try to visit your unpublished site, they'll see an error message. To unpublish your site, next to Publish, click the down arrow and select Unpublish. Mm -hmm. 
now I'm just going to republish it again. It comes up with that same dialog box where we can name the site, give the permissions, and select publish. Check out the next video. I'm going to talk more about forwarding your domain with our DNS hosting and GoDaddy services. Thanks again for watching. You make it possible to have this channel. And I look forward to your likes, comments, and subscribes.